Do you want to plan your own trip, but are afraid of drowning in the amount of information that is available on the internet today? You know different sites with lists of attractions and reviews, but to develop an interesting itinerary will require you to spend a lot of time studying and choosing the most recommended places to visit. Today I will show you how to create an interesting route around the city, how to find places where you can have breakfast, lunch, and just a snack, and also learn interesting facts about the place and visit the most important sites in your destination. First of all, let's create a prompt that precisely formulates the search task. I want to design a three-day itinerary of Florence. In prompt, I specify that I am interested in history, art, and architecture, and I need an itinerary every day with a list of at least 10 sites and one museum. I specify that I need the itinerary as a CSV file to upload to Google My Map. After that, I go to the Perplexity website and enter the resulting prompt. I wait for the route to be generated and download the files for each day. In addition, I ask to add to the itinerary points where I can have breakfast, lunch, and snacks. I specify the maximum allowable price range for food and ask to use well-known sites with reviews and ratings of ordinary people when building the route. The generation is complete, and now we can download all three files. Put our route on the map. Go to Google Maps, create a new map, and give it the name Three Day Route in Florence. We can still add some additional description here. I'm not going to do that. Save. For each day, create a new layer, calling it Day 1, Day 2, Day 3. Next, import the CSV file of the first day that Perplexity developed for us. Choose name, and then name again. So the route for day one is loaded on the map. Here we can see all our points to visit. If you click on this arrow, everything will be visible. Here we will select the day, and here we will select the name. Now for each point you will see the color of the day and the name of the point. This view of the map is overloaded, so let's choose another option, where only our route will be visible. We can also change the color of the icon to one we like more or a different icon. But I won't do that, I like this icon. What else can we do with this map to make it more convenient to use? We can add a picture of our landmark. This way it will be easier for us to recognize it when we go through our route. We type in the name of the landmark and choose the one we like best from Google Images. I like this one. Put it in. Let's take another look at what information we can see on the card. Day of route, address, time of visit. Some details, a link to the site. We can see more details about the day on the route table generated by perplexity. There are our waypoints, places to eat and snack, time of day, important points we should pay attention to. Link to the website of this attraction to find out opening hours or to buy tickets. I also asked to add here the time when this place is better to take photos or some additional facts. Well, here we are. The routes for all three days are posted on our map. Here you can include items from all three days or leave only one day visible. 
what else can you do with this map? Measure the distance, choose a direction, add some points you would like to visit. For example, find a place that sells ice cream. This gelateria is very good, it's a bit out of the way, but it's worth going there. You can add it and put more information, change the icon, We've developed a great itinerary for Florence in less than 10 minutes. If you found this video useful, please give it a like and subscribe.